and Sutras. In this video, we will complete practical number 5a, that is importing the data warehouse data in Microsoft Excel and create the pivot table and pivot chart. But for this reason, we need to have a data warehouse data with us. Now, uh, data warehouse data means ultimately some table, table with data which is stored inside your uh, uh, SQL server. So, what I had done, I had created one script which I am sharing on our Telegram channel also. That script consists of the table structure which is related to the insurance policies. So, I will show you how you can able to go for executing the script. So, first you connect to the SQL server. After doing that, you can decide any of the database. Currently, I am deciding a database as BSCIT, which has only one table over here named as the product. Then I am going towards File, selecting the option as Open. And now I am trying to open a file which is been created by me on my desktop. And you can also save it somewhere wherever you want. And please try to open the script file. So, here I have an insurance script file. Bana ke rakha hai. You just open. Now, uh, this is the script file which required to work with a data that is called as what a BSCIT. Is ko chhod do. Yaha pe database sabka selected a BSCIT. Even if yaha pe bhi likh diya mene use BSCIT. Agar aapka database kuch alag rahega, to please yaha ke use ke baad mein aapke database ka naam likh dena. Baaki sab to waise hi. So I am creating one table which is named as insurance, which has policy date, expiry date, location. State, region, insured value, and all. And along with that, around say some 3, 4, 500 records, 100 or I think so 500 plus records are being added by me. So, what I'm doing, I'm selecting the script, and now I go for executing the script. So, it shows me these many records are affected. I go to table, give a right click, select the option and refresh. You will find a table named as insurance has been available. I again give a right click over here, selected the option, select top 1000 rows and you will find these are approximately 500 rows which are being added by me. So my source data is been ready now. A data warehouse data is been ready inside your Microsoft SQL server. Now this data, I would like to import it in Microsoft Excel and further, I would like to show you a demonstration of the pivot table how we are able to build a pivot table and pivot chart and how they will be benefiting us to analyze our data. So my work with the SQL server is over and do not forget to remember your server name. I have just copied my server name. Now I need to open my Microsoft Excel. So I opened my Microsoft Excel and creating the new workbook. Here I need to import the data. So how can I import the data? I can go to data and here I can specify from existing connection or maybe I need to create a new connection. You can either go for uh, importing the data from here first and then add the pivot table or you can use the pivot table and in a pivot table itself, you can select from where the data need to be imported. Do no option up locally available. So my second option is do those steps. So I will go to insert and here I am selecting the option as pivot table. It asks me, from where you would like to get the data for analysis. I just say use an external data source and here I would like to create my new connection. So for creating the new connection, this is all connection, connection to this workbook, connection files to network, I just let it be, it's showing me all the network. I will browse for more and here I am creating the new source. You know that you would like to connect to the Microsoft SQL Server, so we will select the option as Microsoft SQL Server, then given a click on next. It asks for the server name. Please provide a server name of your own Microsoft SQL Server and use the authentication mode. It may be Windows authentication mode or maybe the SQL Server authentication mode. There is a separate video in my series which will be explaining about Windows authentication and SQL Server authentication. So I'd use the Windows authentication, then given a click on next. It shows me that there are different databases you have from which, which database you want. I just say I would like to work with a database as BSCIT. The BSCIT has various table. Do you would like to connect to the specific table? Yes, I just say I would like to connect towards what a insurance table. Then given a click on next. And finally, I had given a click on finished. So I had chosen the connection and in the existing worksheet, I'm interested in creating the pivot table. 
A pivot table is one of the very good tool for the sake of data analysis. So these are the fields which have been available from the data. And now you need to decide how the analysis need to be shown. For example, I would like to see the summation of the insured value. So I just go to the value over here. It shows sum of insured value. So this is the amount which is nothing but a sum of insured value. Now you are able to go for specifying the value field setting and you are able to go for checking the average or a count or a max or a min. I had taken average insured value. So this is what my average insured value. I would like to go to sum again. I will go to value field setting, selecting the option over here sum and given a click on OK. But this sum of insured value had come from what are the different locations. So I can select the location. I can provide a location as rows. So it shows me a rural and urban diversification or division of the insured value. Further, I would like to know about from which are the different regions this particular insurance policies have been taken. So I just selected regions as columns. So central rural, eastern rural, midwest rural, northeast rural and grand total. So you will get the entire analysis. So suppose you are interested, you need to get a statewide information also. So you'll be getting the statewide information also. Sir, I want statewide information to be first. So just change the sequence. So this is the beauty. Suppose you don't want region. So fine, you can remove the region. So this is the beauty of this particular data where you are able to get the entire analysis. Now I would like to know what are the business types are there and in rural as well as urban and how the insurance value are being considered. So I just put a business type over here. So you'll find the rural education, farming, manufacturing, organizing, retail, and this is the division of your insured sum. Whereas I would like to see only some few insured values related with the education and uh, farming. So I can select a business type and here I'm able to go for specify how this particular values need to be considered. Yaha pe bhi aap click karke kar sakte. Yaha pe rural urban ke liye aap divide kar sakte ho. Agar aapko chahi rahega, to you are able to go for specifying which columns you need. If you want, you can better way select the business type as filter over here. So now these values are related with all business type. But I am interested not as per all, but I want the information has to be given only for education, hospitality and medical. Given a click on OK. So now you will understand the business type of hospital, medical and other are showing me this information and this is the beauty of this particular pivot table now you will find earthquake constructions expiry okay i would like to know the expiry or i require to know the food so i just mentioned the business type over here as food so you have a food may all options are gay up false and true sir mujena food may jinka true have wahi chahiye false wale nahi chahiye you can give a click on okay now you will again and get analysis as this so rural may food false wala rahenge, food true wala nahi rahenge, sir. So this is the way by which the analysis is being done when you are trying to implement the pivot table. So this is a good tool which allows you to overall analyze your business, analyze your figure and according to this figure, you are able to take the appropriate decision. And if you are interested to view this information in a graphical format, then you should be able to use the pivot chart. So you can go to the pivot chart and just click and drag. You can decide which is the type of chart you are interested in to be displayed. I am interested to be displayed in the clustered column chart uh, in this format. Okay, this is a better format. I give a click on OK. You will find everything is getting displayed to you. And all the states are also being displayed. But you don't want all states. You want specific states. So you can select the specific state. Give a click on OK. Right. You want the row label has to be rural and urban. But sir, why all options are not coming? Because you need to select all. So we'll get the information. How these things are what being working. The business types or business type case of the classification on as per maybe uh, uh, rows, you can specify location and business type. So this is the beautiful way by which you can present your information to your management and management can understand where their business is going and that helps them to take a appropriate good decision ultimately that leads towards a profitable business. So this is a very nice tool given by Microsoft Excel.
I expect that everybody should practice this tool properly. This is the most used tool in industry. Uh, when it turns towards Excel, you'll find all the chartered accountants, financial persons, they are using the pivot table, they are using the pivot chart, they are using the what-if analysis. And because of the BI subject, you are able to go for understanding these all tools of Microsoft Excel also. So please practice this properly. And like this video, subscribe this channel as well as uh, you will get the script which I had shown you uh, in our Telegram channel. You download the script from the Telegram channel also. Thanks a lot students.